Sand channeling is an exclusive patented process to install the world's most intensive drainage system for greens, fairways, and sports fields. Our unique high-density matrix sand channel design provides superior drainage. Water never travels more than 8 inches before entering a channel. Also, sand channel systems flush out salts that are built up from fertilizers and reclaimed water. Our course here has uh, what they call uh, old push-up greens built in 1952. The drainage on them is not really great. Of course, this last winter we had almost uh, 36 inches of rain. You can imagine with the heavy clay soil, we experienced water running across our greens uh, for numerous weeks. We had a problem with our number 11 green. If we were to put in a USGA green and spend uh, $40,000, $45,000, it would be a different green, a different soil profile. It would have to be treated different. The club decided to sand channel that green, number 11, and that really made a difference on the firmness of the green, the playability of the green, and the spacing of the channels on the green. It really allowed the water to move through there fast. Sand channeling greens is a quick and efficient five-step process. Our patented GR machine first pre-cuts the turf, removing a two-inch wide turf strip, which will be reinstalled at the end of the job. The 9 inch deep and 1 inch wide channels are cut. The machine then installs a 1 inch perforated pipe at the bottom of the channel. The channel is then backfilled with 100% dry USGA sand allowing for perfect flow and compaction. The pre-cut turf strips are then replaced onto the cut channels. I've been involved in the industry since 1977. I'm a certified sports field manager one of the three in California. Well, because we're in an area that's a heavy native clay soil here, their tendency is to drain rather slowly. So the sand channel came in after the field was already in play, and the reason for that was it was such a heavy clay soil, it wouldn't drain. And because the stadium is constructed below street level, it's like a swimming pool if you can't pull the water off of it. We can get some pretty heavy rains in, in, in a real short period of time. And if you can't deal with that water, uh, you're basically shutting down the game, which is especially important to us here with our baseball and our softball programs. They don't, they start in January. The channels actually have reacted favorably to our renovation. The main benefit that I see from having it has been that we have a field that will drain and uh, don't have to think twice about it if it rains. Sand channeling fairways and sports fields is a quick and efficient five-step process. The SF channel machine first cuts a channel that is 9 inches deep and 1 inch wide with two 36 inch diameter cutting blades. The machine cuts two sand channels at 4 feet on center. The machine then moves over 16 inches and cuts the second sand channel pass. After the second sand channel pass is completed, the machine once again moves over 16 inches and the third sand channel pass is installed. The fourth pass includes laying the pipe at four foot centers in a perpendicular direction to the 16 inch on center sand channels. A one inch perforated sand channel pipe is laid at the bottom of the channel. The channel is then backfilled with 100% dry USGA sand. Our sand channel harvester scoops up any remaining dirt which is discarded. The final step in sand channeling is installation of the collector line which connects the low point of the one inch pipe at the bottom of the sand pipe channel to a storm drain. First we sod cut and relocate the sod pieces. The second step involves cutting a variable depth 8 inch wide trench. The laser ensures that we have the proper depth and fall for the 4 inch pipe. One inch of gravel is laid at the bottom of the collector line trench. The 4 inch collector pipe is then installed along with a locator wire. Gravel is poured around the pipe. Filter fabric is laid down between the gravel and the sand above the gravel.
sand tops off the collector line trench and is watered in. The sand is prepared for sod laying and sod is replaced, watered and tamped down to grade. The end of the collector line is routed to a storm drain. I'm Mike McCraw. Um, I'm the golf course superintendent here at Seascape Golf Course. We are about 400 yards from the edge of the Monterey Bay right here. We typically get around 30 inches of rain. We had uh, six greens uh, installed with the sand channel system. The greens were chosen because all of them are push-up clay greens which held the water quite a bit. And uh, this green was problematic. It's a three-tiered green with some flat spots on it. We had tried another drainage system. It was a turf drain type slit trench with a geotextile covering it. And it had failed. The uh, geotextile fabric had plugged up. The drainage system in this green was put in in 1996. Unlike the other fabric uh, type system that we put in. Uh, we haven't had any plugging, any uh, problems. The greens will drain. Uh, they're mowable, playable um, within you know very short time after the rain events. For us, it's worked very well. Mm -hmm.